Hey guys, Emma here. For all you visual people, I want to show you the addiction transformation, going from a typical teenager to a full-blown drug addict. Um, this is me as a young teenager, about 15, 16 years old. I was certainly struggling, but at this point, drugs were just being introduced to me. I had some ED behaviors, as you can see, quite self-conscious, struggling a bit with my image and unsure of who I was. But this is kind of a normal teenage experience, right? Finding who I was, socializing, getting new friends, getting in a new relationship. Um, that this is when I first, <laughs> there's wisdom teeth out, first began my substance, substances were beginning here in a, in a normal socialized fashion. But as you can see from the get-go, it took a hold of me quite fast. As you can see, it was masked as normal teenage using. However, it immediately took hold of my life and it was all I wanted to do. Um, I was experimenting with all kinds of substances at this point, but this is around the time I found my drug of choice, which was Adderall. And I thought it was the best thing in the world. At this point, I was very happy. I felt like I'd finally found the best thing in the entire world and I was finally free. But it had a, it had a, a grasp on me, as you can see from these videos. It was all I thought about and I needed it to function. And when I didn't have it, I was absolutely miserable. At this point, I was getting kicked out of my mom's house. Um, this is when my full-blown addiction began to my drug of choice right here. Um, this is when I had access to it every day. And pretty soon, everything else in my life started to fall on the wayside. Uh, definitely family, friend, relationships. Uh, this is when I started my senior year of high school, and I started skipping school immediately and rarely went. Should not have graduated. Barely did by the skin of my teeth. When I did come to school, I was out of there as quickly as I possibly could. I was miserable, as you can see. This is right before I went to treatment for the first time, right here. Um, this is me right out of treatment. I did well for about a week and then it was back to drugs, as you can see here. Got kicked out of my mom's house at this point. That was my 18th birthday. I ended up collapsing in front of all my friends. Didn't have any life other than using. And I started to lose my sanity and my grasp on life. There was an art piece I made to depict that. This was me at the end of my senior year, graduating by the skin of my teeth and finishing the program that I was a part of. I began working full-time as a lifeguard at this point. Things got better for a little bit. Got a good tattoo. Uh, started just feeling a lot happier. Then I moved for the first time in my life to a whole new state and was extremely lost at this point. Started working at Starbucks. Um, but I could not stay away from my drug of choice, and this is when I started drinking all the time. Um, alcohol had completely consumed my life. I went to rehab for the second time. This is me out of there. Me and IOP did well for again a couple weeks, then I was back to drinking. At this point, I was homeless. Um, I bounced around and, and lived in all kinds of places, but I didn't have any stable home, and I couldn't maintain sober living for long because I couldn't stay clean and sober. Um, again, working as a lifeguard, um, just getting lost in kratom and alcohol addiction. I was really miserable. I was really broken. I couldn't maintain more than 30 days of sobriety before I was back down. That was an art. That's an artistic depiction of addiction. This is alcohol. I started to get a little yellow. Again, lifeguarding, I tend to do a little better in the summer, out in the sun, and yeah, I had brief periods where I felt like myself, and I was so vibrant and excited for life, and then I would go back down. This is when I relapsed again on my drug of choice, and it was back to rehab again. This is me in rehab. <sighs> yeah, started, you know dyeing my hair, changing my style, all those things. And here's the beginning of the end. This is where you will watch me become a full-blown tweaker. Um, this was the darkest period of my life. I barely survived. I don't know why I survived. I was completely cut off from all of the world. and all, I, was, I couldn't hold a job. I couldn't do anything. I was just addicted to my drug of choice, and that was all I did. Despite having a heart attack, cardiac arrest, and just a plethora of health problems. This was when I was real bad. Um, 
yeah, it was really bad. Um, right here is when I went to rehab very briefly in between and was clean for a little while. And then a couple of days later, I was back on the stuff, as you can see. I was hopeless. That was from my drug of choice coming out of my skin. Yeah, it was very painful. I was just, I thought I was never going to make it out. My skin was turning, just, I just looked awful. <laughs> All kinds of rashes. Just miserable. It was a very dark time. I was just empty and broken. This is where I knew I was going to die alone, and I was just absolutely devastated. And I didn't think there was any way out. But here comes the good part. Here's me now in recovery. I, you know, I went to treatment and then I moved into sober living. And that's where I was for quite a long time. Um, so this means sober living, getting a new job, working in recovery, just finding me again. Excitement, passions, helping other people. I slowly started to regain my confidence. I was able to move out of sober living after nine months. I've been embracing my art full force and just really coming, coming to life. Things have only gotten better. It's been very, very hard. And here's my sweet dog, Charlie, who is the apple of my eye. It's very hard, but it's totally worth it. It is totally worth it. And now I am studying nursing. Thanks for watching, guys.